Leclanche cell. Construction Georges Leclanche constructed the Leclanche cell in 1865. In this cell, a carbon rod is placed in a porous spot containing a mixture of manganese dioxide, MnO2, and powdered carbon. The porous spot and an amalgamated zinc rod are placed in a glass jar containing saturated ammonium chloride solution. Ammonium chloride solution is the electrolyte and carbon and zinc rods are the electrodes. The mouth of the glass jar is sealed with pitch so that the ammonium chloride does not seep out. Let us now look at the chemical reactions taking place inside the cell to understand how the electrodes get charged. Ammonium chloride, the electrolyte, splits into ammonium and chloride ions. The chloride ions move towards the zinc rod and transfer their electrons to the zinc rod, forming zinc chloride. The zinc rod attains negative charge due to excess of electrons. Thus, the zinc rod becomes the cathode, the negative electrode. On the other hand, ammonium ions move to the carbon rod. The free ions of the carbon rod neutralize the ammonium ions, forming ammonia and hydrogen gas. As a result, the carbon rod attains positive charge due to deficiency of electrons. Thus, the carbon rod becomes the anode, the positive electrode. The hydrogen gas is oxidized by manganese dioxide to form water and polarization is prevented. Now, if an external copper wire is connected to the electrodes, the electrons will move from the cathode to the anode generating electricity. The EMF of the Leclanche cell is 1.5 volts.